If you're thinking about buying in New York City and you're a first time buyer, and I don't mean a first time home buyer, I mean first time in New York City, then you're going to want to watch this video because buying in the city can be very different than anywhere else. And I have five important tips that I will share with you. Tip number one is you should be considering co-ops. I frequently hear people say that they only want to buy a condominium when they first start looking in the city, and that's a mistake. And here's why. Co-ops represent approximately 70% of the housing stock, so you're really limiting your choice. There are differences between a co-op and condo. Most people know about the dreaded board interview, which frankly isn't dreaded with most buildings. If you have gotten that far, they have probably already approved your financial package. And that's really where the decision is made on whether or not you are financially qualified to purchase in the building. And the interview is just a formality at that point. So don't worry about that. The second thing is that people get concerned about whether or not they can rent out the property. Co-ops, vary. They have all different sublet policies and all you need to do is find out in advance what is the sublet policy for the building. So for example, say you're going to live there for three years, you know you're locked in for whatever reason and then after that you're not sure and you want that option, well then you're going to find a building that lets you rent after two to three years. Now overall, co-ops generally trade at a lower price per square foot than a condominium because there are some restrictions inherent in their usage. So you want to be considering those if you want a good price.